Okay, we are going to show um, uh, how to um, solder the first components that we suggest you do when you uh, solder the PDD. Um, we will start with the pin headers. So these little pins that uh, connect uh, um, different elements to the PDD. So in order to, uh, to simplify the soldering and, and that they don't fall down and so on, we will do something like I, uh, I have done already here in these other areas here. So we will put the blue three pin rows to, for the 5 volt plus 5, black for ground of course, then we choose to use the red pins for the plus 12, and another set of three pin headers for the ground okay so now if we put it in the surface in, in any surface the pins that are sticking out from below will uh, rise the pins so we put it in a something uh, elevated and now we just get some tape We put the put the tape on the pins so that just just so that they don't fall down. Okay. Do the same with this other here. Doesn't need to be very. Don't worry about the orientation of the pins. I will show later how to fix it. But right now, you see. It's um, they don't fold down the bit. So now we are ready to solder. So let's start with this, for example, here. Now we can just put it on the table. Okay. We are gonna start here, <clears throat> and instead of and we are not gonna solder all three. Uh, I mean all the all the pins. We are gonna just solder one pin for each row. So for example. In here, one in here, one in here, <clears throat> no. So why we do that? <coughs> we do that because right now <coughs> with one single pin already soldered, this stays in place, okay? You see that it doesn't need. But, as it's typical, the orientation is not okay. I don't see, do you see that is, um, it's hard to see maybe from here, but from maybe from the top, they are, you see that they are going to the inside? But anyway, they do. <laughs> so what we are gonna do in right now is putting the finger in uh, in some of the pins that are not soldered okay what we can do is just um, hit the soldered pin and move the pin headers to the to a more straight position we check much better. Okay, this is done. Now maybe you can see the difference. The the ones in the back are the where the tilted ones remaining now, and the, on the front are now fixed. So we will do the same for the other pins. And now we would just. Now that the pins are straight, it doesn't uh, it looks like yeah. Actually, you can see here they are pretty, pretty good. Now we would just continue and solder the rest of the pins because if you want to change the orientation when you have more than one pin um, on each row, it will be a pain. So that's the first tip, and I'm gonna continue with uh, finishing these pins here and the rest and make another video for uh, other components. 
Okay guys, so now that we have all the, the pins uh, uh, pin headers soldered, okay, it's time to uh, to solder the filter components, which are basically um, inductors, capacitors and diodes. So you, you see here, um, uh, this is for the 12 volt uh, line filtering and then components and this is for the uh, 5 volt line. The difference is pretty obvious in the inductor and capacitors especially. The 12 volt capa uh, inductor it's um, much thicker, much higher, okay? The 12 volt capacitor it's uh, much bigger than the 5 volt one, as you can see here. And then we have a common uh, element which is a uh, uh, Another capacitor, this has the same value. This is to, uh, it's optional and it's to, uh, to remove high frequency interferences in the power lines. They have uh, both the same value and they are the tiniest ones. And then we have two diodes which look like the same but they are slightly different um, because of the voltage obviously. So the 12 volt uh, diode, um, the code finishes with uh, 22. You can read it here, 5822. And for the 5 volt line, the diode that we use is a, a 5820 um, diode. So, anyway, I'm gonna just uh, solder right now the 12 volt filtering um, components. So, the first thing we like to do is to uh, put the diode, for example. So, what we used to do is we bent as close as possible to the body, by the way, so that it matches the, the holes in the PDB. Something like this, okay? And then the 12 volt um, filter is in this uh, section here. Actually, if you forget about that, you can actually just read the label here, which is says uh, 12 volt, okay? And here the label says at, uh, on the top 5 volt. So that's the 5 volt filtering um, area and that's the 12 volt. So we have the diode here, D1, and there is a line uh, in one side. This line corresponds to the gray area in the diode here. So we just put it in like this. It's, pretty, it's a pretty tough component, so don't worry about stressing it a bit but uh, of course it's better not to do it but you can the legs are very uh, well attached to the body anyway you put the diode like this and then you get you might need a relatively high temperature here because the legs are very thick and you need a lot of uh, soldering even though for most components it's better to use a small tip for the iron in this I got used to use the big one, especially when I have to put the cables, the battery and so on. It's much better to use a big tip. Okay, so this is done. It was pretty easy. Now the only thing we have to do, you can maybe you see here maybe. Hmm? And now we just cut it. From my experience, yeah, as you see here, it looks, in this case, this specific component, it looks that I cut too much. But if you realize, and it happens every time, it goes, the, the tin goes through the hole and actually it goes away the, in the other side. So it's very well uh, attached. Okay, so now we go for the, the inductor, for example, the, the PDB has some tin, but put a bit of tin, extra tin, okay? Just a very thin layer, don't put a blob here. And since we are already doing this, that we are gonna do the same for the capacitor, the big one. And we are gonna tin also for the small capacitor. So very little amount here, otherwise the blob will 
make the the inductor to to rise. The inductor doesn't have any polarity. So we put a bit of tin here just so that ensure that there is a good surface. So now it's dry, it's uh, cold, I mean. Um, doesn't have any polarity, the inductor, unlike the capacitor. So it doesn't really matter how you put it. They are, obviously, you need to make coincide uh, the pads on the PDB with these two pads here. Okay. So what I used to do is I put it on the, on the middle, and then I heat up the, pad that I, the part of the part that I see. And this will, at some point, will start melting also the and pressing down, by the way, will start melting down the the tin that is also in the inductor. So now it's it's attached, okay. But now, and you see, because I didn't put a blob, it's pretty close to the surface, okay. But I still have to solder the other side, so I do the same. I put it on the visible part of the pad so that it melts, and when I feel and I push down when I feel that uh, now that it melted also the tin on the inductor then it's done 